Hi everyone, I'm Dina with the Sephora Pro Team. Hi guys, I'm David with the Sephora Pro Team and we're bringing a fun video to you guys today. So this is all about the new year. Happy new year. Right? <laughs> so what are beauty resolutions that people would do? You know, mm -hmm. we're gonna give you guys some ideas, some inspiration, but I actually do have a beauty resolution um, okay. this year, which is I need to hydrate my body. Nice. Because I That's always focus on hydrating my face and getting face moisturizers and like doing this and that and the other for my face. And I'm like, I gotta start paying attention to the body too. Yeah. I'm going to the gym. I gotta start hydrating that skin too. Yeah. <laughs> so what about you? Do you have any like beauty resolutions? Yeah, mine's to drink more water. I've noticed um, like for the last couple of weeks, I've been drinking a little more um, and I've noticed a lot of really great health and like skin benefits to it. Yeah. So I'm just going to continue skin, to do it yeah. for the next year. Yeah, your skin and looks amazing, by the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So now yeah. we're going to talk with you guys about some great ideas and like little routines that maybe you can incorporate into your new year for a better, beautiful you. Let's jump in. Okay, so the first category that we kind of want to talk about is um, starting a new habit or mm -hmm. doing something in your daily routine that's going to benefit not only your health, but also your wellness. beauty, your well, exactly, yeah. like all yeah. over wellness. Um, and these are really quick and easy things that you can throw into your current routine that will make such a big impact, again, on internal beauty and external mm -hmm. beauty. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is by The Beauty Chef. This is a hydration inner beauty boost and this is amazing because it's this. okay so we tried this out yesterday mm -hmm. right this mm -hmm. is really really great for um, hydrating and really giving you a lot of vitamins and minerals internally but it will also help keep your skin really hydrated and luminous um, so this has tons of um, bio fermented and um, ingredients exactly electrolytes mm -hmm. so there's coconut water in here aloe vera as well mm -hmm. so you'll taste like a little bit of that in the background so it's not it's like very a very good strong tasting. scent exactly it's a very good taste actually and what I'd like too is that there's a lot of just goody stuff in there there's like oh, a, tons. it's like filled with like good stuff for you so I mean we're gonna talk about how you do it and yes. so clearly I had to bring this out <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually a really fun like water bottle from Beaker and the great thing about this is that it's glass so we all know that the importance of glass and you know keeping your water in glass because it's not pulling from the plastics and stuff like that but isn't this just adorable so Resolution, drink more water. Guys, if you use a cute bottle like this, you're going to be proud to carry it around and yeah. drink it. And they um, come in so many different styles. These are great. These are so good. I love them. They've got the cute little handle on them. But with this, because these pair so perfectly together, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, let's show them how to do this because yeah. I actually want some right now. Okay, let's okay. take some. So bring the glasses out. All right, so here's one for you. So we did this yesterday, guys, and I have to tell you, I fell in love with this stuff. I'm so getting this. It's incredible. So it's just one tablespoon. Go ahead. Okay. Put them in. Mm -hmm. Go for it, girl. Oh, you look like Mary Poppins pouring it in there. This is definitely something that I'm going to be doing for my beauty okay. resolution this and year. It only need, you can do like one tablespoon for what says like 200 milliliters, which is... Pretty much like a, a glass of water, yeah. yeah. Like um, and then just mix them up. Make sure you're mixing it in, guys. We learned that the hard way when it sat on the bottom. Um, but it's really, really tasty. It's really good, and I felt really good afterwards. Yes, I like, felt like energized. Cheers! Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's, guys. <laughs> mm. So good. All right, so. Oh my god! I want to just sit and drink that all day. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Mm, it's tasty, like tasty, tasty, tasty. It's like lovely Being on coconut. The beach. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really lovely good. coconut. Um, okay, now I feel hydrated. I feel alive. <laughs> so let's continue with like, what can you do? I would say this is probably my key resolution for most people: mm -hmm. wash your face. Yes. Girls, wash your <laughs> face. Okay, I know a day lot. and night. Okay, seriously, I hear this all the time. Oh, I was just too tired to wash my face at night. No. Beauty resolution number one, wash your face, girl. <laughs> so this is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And what I love about this, the reason I chose this, is this yeah. is good for anyone, any skin type. Sensitive skin, it doesn't matter. 
It's a non-foaming cleanser, mm -hmm. so it's really good. So it doesn't strip your skin. It's filled with nourishing and hydrating stuff, so it really hydrates the skin, which I'm really key to because I don't like to wash my face and feel really dry yeah. afterwards. Exactly. Um, this also removes some makeup too, so I kind of threw it in there because nowadays you really don't have an excuse. You can really have one product. You don't need so many separate products. A lot of times the cleansers that are out there now will remove makeup as well. A lot of them will remove waterproof makeup too. Mm -hmm. This even removes mascara. Yeah, it's so great like, for the eye area. Just do it, guys. I seriously can't stress enough. One of the key things of aging is leaving makeup on your skin. It really is. Like, it sinks into the pores. It slowly, over time, stretches them out, which mm -hmm. makes them more visible. It creates the signs of aging. It's the easiest and simplest thing you can do for beauty for yourself to maintain a younger, youthful-looking appearance. So, yep. Wash your faces, girls. Cleansing wash them, wash skin. them, wash them. Okay, the next thing after you cleanse, um, in the morning, you got to wear your SPF. And this is something that you should be doing on a daily basis. Yes. Um, this one I chose here is the Josie Moran uh, SPF 47. This is great because it's a moisturizer that has a really high SPF that you can use on your face, on your neck, decollete if you wanted. Mm -hmm. You can bring it down. So any exposed area. And what's so important about wearing SPF every single day is that it's going to protect you from aging, from yeah. sunspots. So same, yeah. same idea yeah. here. Um, any sort of treatment that you're doing, you definitely want to make sure that you're wearing your SPF and pairing it with that, um, just because then you're protecting all the hard work that you've been doing. So remember, SPF daily. Yeah, and I think it's also, again, it's key. It's like these are simple, easy things that you mm -hmm. can do that actually have a very huge impact on how good your skin looks, yeah. especially over time. It's like maintaining your skin, right? 100%. So these are like easy everyday things, but 100%. it's maintaining. A hundred percent. So my next thing in this daily routine that I really personally love to do, and I've talked about this many times on camera, is mist your face. Mm -hmm. A little face mist. <laughs> um, I love the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. Y'all know that. I love the Caudalie Grape Water. So good. I love any spray mist on your face. I just really like that idea of misting and hydrating your face. I think it's a great sort of pampering moment. Mm -hmm. It's something you can do throughout the day. So like, I know we have people we work with whose like, you know, idea was like, I need to force myself to miss multiple times a day. Oh, yeah. Because it's a great way to, especially if you have makeup on, yep. to continue hydrating. Why stop hydrating throughout the day? You know what I mean? Like, take it out, missed it, boom, 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 you've added it, you're ready to go. And besides this one, the smell. Yeah. Uh, I feel like misting throughout the day gives you a moment to yourself. So it's not only hydrating your skin, mm -hmm. but you get a chance to just kind of give yourself a quick two second break. Um, and the smell of this it's is like so delicious. It's like aromatherapy to exactly. me. That's what this, this is a key for me is this is like aromatherapy throughout yeah, the day. Yeah, it's like eucalyptus and mint calms scent. calms me down, <laughs> <laughs> centers me. I feel good inside. <laughs> I feel good outside. Mm. Mist, mist away. <laughs> What's your next one? Great. Okay. So uh, another beauty resolution um, is hydrate your hair. So oh, some yeah. people tend to forget. Um, and in the wintertime, split ends, dryness, frizziness happens. Um, so with this product here, this is from IGK. It's a really great product. It's called Thirsty Girl. And what's cool is that it's a coconut milk leave-in conditioner. So you can put this in your hair while your hair is damp. And then it'll totally rehydrate the hair. You can spray it on directly and then just work it in with your fingers. And what I love is that it's actually going to tame frizz for 24 hours. So this is legit. This oh, wow. is really great. Um, so something that you can do right after you come out of the shower mm -hmm. and you leave it in. So you don't have to worry about it later on. I mean, I'm frizz free because <laughs> of it right now. <laughs> no, of, they, have, they have great products. And that's really smart, too. Yeah. Again, hydration. Think about hydrating other than just your face. At exactly. times, you know, I'm very good at hydrating my face. But it's like I forget my body. Or some people might forget their hair. You know, it's yeah. like hydration or internal. Drink it. You know, make exactly. sure you're getting that hydration. It is really key to youth and beauty and all that stuff that we want. Yeah. Um, okay. So this is fun now. I like this part. Okay. This is a good one. So we were also thinking like create a daily routine, something, you know, you can do. That's what all that was. What else is a good beauty resolution? So for me, it's also being experimentative, mm -hmm. you know, experimentative, um, you know, playing, playful, um, letting go, trying new things, being a little bit wild, stepping outside your box. You know, I feel like when it comes to beauty, we get stuck in this like 
this is me. This is what I do every day. Mm -hmm. I like this color eyeshadow. I like this mascara. I like this foundation. I like this blush, uh -huh. you know? And I think that with makeup, it's not a tattoo. It's not permanent. Try some different stuff. See yourself in a different light. Play around. It's makeup. It should be fun. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, the great this thing is about makeup world. is you can wash it off if you don't yeah, like it. Yeah, right? take it so. off, you know? Yeah. Go into a store, have like a Sephora makeup artist, try some stuff on you on a custom makeover, and then just work it out. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. So my first product is one that I'm obsessed with. Obsessed, obsessed. This is the- I'm actually wearing I know, it. you are wearing. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you actually the two that you're wearing. Okay, so you awesome. can play Thank with you. those. So these are the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. These are my favorite things. They're beautiful. And they're so, so easy to it. use. Yes. Um, so I have on two shades right now. On my entire lid, I'm wearing Enchantress. And then on my inner corner, I'm wearing Perlina. So the more whiter, brighter, yes. and then like the more rose gold on my lid. And they are truly, uh, this is called Fairy Tale, and it's That's like so a cool. brown with a pink shift to it. And what I love about these is, one, it's glitter. So a lot of people are scared of glitter. Mm -hmm. So get, jump on the glitter bus. Get ready for it. <laughs> Try it out. 2018, let's make it the year of glitter. So... I think this is a really easy way to do it. There's no fallout. Nope, not. Because it's a liquid. It literally has a doe foot applicator. These are like doe foot, like a lip gloss, like a lip uh, lip gloss wand kind of applicator. It sweeps right across the eyes. It is so easy to use. It doesn't move. It doesn't fall out. It has tremendous pigment payoff. I just think Stila knocked these out of the park. These yeah. are so well done, and there's such a large variety of colors. These are some more of the neutral wearable colors, but they have some really beautiful color colors as well that are like stunning, like literally show-stopping. Put it on, put on some mascara, that's your look. Mm -hmm. Don't make it difficult for yourself. Don't get scared of them. Just have some fun with makeup. So these I'm I'm all about. Try something new, try something fun. Steal a steal a steal up. I love them. <laughs> Really what good. about you? Oh, so another thing that you can try um, is cocktailing. So we talk about um, cocktailing <laughs> our water <laughs> with our elixirs. Exactly. Um, for internal health. Uh, but I think what's really cool is cocktailing like a foundation yes. with an elixir for your face or mm -hmm. like a beauty oil. This one's actually from Josie Moran. Uh, this is these. the Moonstone Drops. This is a really beautiful oil that has a little bit of this like pearl essence, like mm -hmm finish to it so it it's really subtle but it really works so well when you're mixing it with a foundation and what that's really going to do is just hydrate the skin so it's going to make the foundation look more um smooth and luminous and then that flora like that um highlighted finish will really create this like beautiful glow to your skin um so it'll transform a little bit of the finish but it'll just make the foundation look and sit more beautifully on the skin and then there's also the farsali mm -hmm. unicorn essence have you tried this out yeah, this, this one's really, really cool. pretty. <laughs> yeah. Pop some on my hand. Now. This one has like a more pink sort yeah, of it's like finish. A pinky tone. Yeah, but it totally melts into the skin. It just makes your skin look Well, and what feel I love great. about these two is that they're subtle. Mm. So these are not liquid highlighters that you're going to overdo and look like a disco ball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. This is really like a cocktailing product. It's a hydrating serum. It makes the skin look good with or without makeup. So what I love about these is that you can apply these even to just bare skin mm -hmm. too. You don't need to cover them with a foundation because they're so crazy. You know what I mean? Like oh, it's yeah. really just, it's like beautifying skincare in a way because it's yeah. really hydrating. They're I wore really... this on the weekend actually yeah. alone and my skin looked so great. Like it honestly didn't almost even need foundation. <laughs> right. Yeah, because it really hydrates the skin and it boosts it. So that's what I love about these is like they're like skincare meets makeup they're good cocktailing they're good alone you know you can have a lot of fun with them i, I love those yes yeah, so i love cocktailing in try general. something new cocktail your oils and elixirs in with foundation or wear them alone exactly <laughs> so another idea for trying something new um, this came from a friend of mine who is a big fragrance junkie she loves her specific fragrances mm. she's been wearing them for 10 years, you know what I mean? It's like the same fragrance, you know? Mm -hmm. And we were talking about like, oh, that fragrance is you, it smells like you. 
And she was like, well, I want to try something new, but I'm scared. I don't want to buy a whole bottle if I hate it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, that's actually a good idea. So like, I thought about like, okay, so Penrose has like these collections where it's like these small size trial. You can get enough use out of these where like, you can give it a really good substantial trial run. Mm -hmm. And then kind of experiment with your fragrance almost. Like... Maybe mix them. Yeah, layer. Maybe layer them. Maybe cocktail them. You know what I'm saying? But you're not buying a full size. You're you're really being able to sort of test run these. And yeah. I just think that's a really good thing because people think of fragrance and they think, I'm just going to stick with this one fragrance and that's going to be it. But I, I like the idea of like trying out different things. Like... Yeah, these smell really great too. These so you have gorgeous. a lot of different variations of scent in them. Yeah. So you have some like woodsy notes, mm -hmm. and then you have one fragrances that smell like more um, musky or like just clean. There's then like there's clean, clean as well. Yeah. So you can really play and and see what works best for you. Um, if you have a favorite fragrance, it's really nice to sort of pair this off um, with your favorite fragrance. But you can always cocktail them together, mm -hmm. and they they really create very unique scents. So you I can really that. find some. Something that's great for you. I love it. Um, something else that I wanted to talk to you about, um, and that's something um, under the try something new category for us, is um, Briogeo's Scalp Revival. This is a charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. So these are really hot right now because mm -hmm. they are going to gently exfoliate the scalp and mm -hmm. it'll really break down any sort of buildup that you're getting on the scalp. What I love also is that it smells and it feels Amazing. great it on the scalp. It smells so good. <laughs> I love the way this stuff smells. Yeah. I'm obsessed with this. I want to eat it. It literally <laughs> smells good enough to eat. It smells like a mint chocolate chip cookie almost. Mm, yes. It I does. Agree. It does. It, it does. literally smells so amazing. But this is even great also for guys, especially even if you don't, mm, it's just for like me. That's a good I point. love it because it just, it's like an exfoliator for your scalp. Your scalp feels fresh and lovely. It's, yeah. I, I enjoyed it. It's like got a cooling kind of feel almost. Totally. So it has like that mint in it. Yeah. It's wonderful. I love that. I'm glad you do because I'm like really new, do. new. You know, try something new. You don't have to stick to the traditional shampoo. You don't mm -hmm. have to stick to try a dry shampoo, try a uh, charcoal mud shampoo you exactly. know have fun this is what beauty is all about it's about finding those products that work that are great for you but you got to try them to, to know you know yeah. what I mean so you can't just you know stick to the same routines and expect different results so I think yeah. that's, that's that's when so true. you know that's when New Year's and these resolutions come in really great is because it opens your eyes to different possibilities you know yes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun talking about this and trying all these products, especially that water. I'm like obsessed with it. <laughs> um, if you guys have any resolutions that you're going to be doing, we would love to hear about them. So please leave them in the comment section below. We yeah. read them. We definitely do and we'll respond. So if you have any other questions about these products, we can definitely answer them in the comment section. Absolutely. If you haven't already subscribed, mm -hmm. please do so. We appreciate the love and we will see you guys later. Yes. And have a great New Year's. Enjoy. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.